Hello everyone, welcome back to Savage Gaming with me Teddy and for this video we are going to talk about the joint exercises as well as the hangar or we are going to talk about the aircraft for this video. In less than 7 hours, the aircraft will be tested in the following states. States 625 to 648, states 502 to state 508, and state 362 to 366. If the same requirements will be applied to the live server, which is one item equivalent to one level, like one level is requires one, level two requires two, and so on and so forth, to max out your aircraft, you will need 1,829 alloy as well as the carbon fiber. Unlocking or upgrading your aircraft will give a boost to your a troops HP or your health as well as your troops lethality. Aside from that, unlocking the aircraft will also give you three different skills which you can use to your either your rally or you are doing or add them to your garrison. There are a lot of players who are asking if what is the next spot right next to the three heroes in your garrison or your defense, that spot there guys is for the aircraft. But remember that if you are doing rallies, if you are a rally leader, your skill to use is the rally enhancement. And if you are a joiner or you are going to add the aircraft to your walls, you need to manually change the skills that you are going to use. Right, let's proceed to the joint exercises. So along with the release of the aircraft will be your joint exercises that is split into two. The first one is the solo assault and the second one with the help of your alliance leaders, alliance members, or other players in your state. Remember that the solo assault is open every Monday to Fridays, whereas your coordinated operation only opens on Sunday and Saturday. The joint exercises will last for 167 days, guys. So it means like this is more like three months. And for every 10 levels that you are going to clear, you will get a title for that. So we'll have a champion and other things. So there will be a total of 110 levels for the solo assault. For the coordinated one, I have no idea, guys, because in PTR, they close this part here. For the solo assault, you can get the items, which is the alloy as well as the carbon fiber that you need to upgrade your aircraft by clearing levels. The second one will be the stage rewards and then the victory rewards that you use during raids. There are three different level types for this solo assault, guys. The first one is the normal ones, which is pretty easy to clear. And these is seven challenges per 10 levels. And once you clear that, you can't go back. The second one is the blue one, which is a little harder, dependent on your grade of your aircraft. And this will be three challenges per 10 levels. And you can always go back and challenge that anytime while the event is up the last one is the emergency level you can see it in red and there is a cooldown or a timer of seven days once you start your aircraft challenge and once it is colored red you can't do any damage to the maw or the infected players have to wait for the level to end the countdown or the color red level turn into blue for you to be able to challenge it again Next is the raid rules. So every day you will get one free raid ticket and you can only use one raid chance once a day. So this resets daily but only one chance for you to raid. So make sure to raid the highest level that you already cleared for you to get the victory reward. Remember guys that using the raid or the victory reward is only applicable on your first attack on that specific day. In winning the challenges, there are a few factors to consider. First is your stats, your aircraft build, your aircraft progress when it comes to stars, your heroes use for the maw, and then your challenge strategy, and the last but not the least will be your troop formation. Just remember guys that when you are doing the challenges in the maw, this also uses the special attributes of the aircraft to be used for every challenges so the higher the level or the higher the upgrade of your aircraft the more chances for you to clear the levels in your solo assault and at the same time your cooperation exercises players also need to consider the difficulty of the levels 
and for every level there will be a recommended rating or the rating of your aircraft and this will determine if you're going to win it or will be hard or you can beat the challenge every time a player fail the challenge the difficulty will drop every day so for the first month will be two percent second month will be three percent third month will be five percent every day all right so that's it for today guys and for the second part of this video i will be posting information and tips on how you are going to win the challenges and the levels i will be posting the written version of this on my website probably by next week see you in my next videos guys bye